All right, here we are in front of my grandparents' house and I'm standing underneath the date tree. A jube jube, Chinese, Chinese date tree. And you can see that the seeds fall off to the side of the um, original tree here. And uh, let's see, the fruit bears up top, falls on the ground. And then in the seasons to come, other little tiny trees are sprouted. Baby trees. Okay, that's what's going on. Well, the mission is to get some seeds that I harvested this season and plant them into these pots right here that I just finished. And I start scooping the dirt into these pots and I thought I'd grab the camera and show you guys what's going on I had the shovel here I just took some local some of the local dirt right because they're already growing just like that I don't ever need to water this tree here it doesn't use much water and it produces like 10 pounds of fruit this one does it's kind of funky like I don't know why my grandfather uh, trims it the way he does, but I would never do it like that. It, I have to climb up all the way to the top to get some of the fruit. So anyways, that's that. But I have so many seeds I'm going to be planting. I'll show you some more right now in a minute. Okay, here are the rest of the uh, dates that I've planted maybe about a month ago. We're in November right now in El Paso, Texas. And uh, right here we got some more of these local this is what they're called. It's like a herb that grows around here, the southwest part of the United States. And it's almost like a silvery, silvery bluish green plant. It's very good to eat. I eat it all the time. I have another video where I eat some. Okay, so there's two seeds of dates, jube jube Chinese style, in each of these pots. Here, these large ones. And uh, they'll make it through the winter outside. I won't have to put them in because it's okay. This is what they look like. These are dried fruits from last season. You know? And then here is like an acorn type of seed. See that? This is the seed right there. And that's what you plant. That's what you want to plant. And uh, that's exactly what I'll do to all these. I'll put some hole in there. Plump that seed right in the middle and just cover it with earth. I won't even water these or anything. So I'll go ahead and do that to all these. Put a hole into the earth. To all these. And then just like that. I'll go around and plant the seed and come back in a little. So here we have it. Um, there are the seeds into the new pots. Um, they're all covered up and I won't bother watering them because it's just a waste. They don't need to be watered until the rains come throughout the season. They'll be sprouted naturally around April before maybe even and uh, that's that's that these would be set for a whole year or two in these pots a whole a whole two to three years in these pots these will last one year in, in these if they're sprouted I got two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty twenty two twenty two of these and yeah, we'll see which one sprout.
Um, that's that. Called the uh, Jube Jubes again. And uh, I'll make future videos on Sprouts and that'll be in a couple of months. So stay tuned. If you like what you see, subscribe. Take care.